Hey guys, going on? Megan here. 10 mental signs of high testosterone. Part 1. Four more episodes to come. Alright, let's get started. Competitive behavior. So, huge desire to compete. Somebody who always wants to win. Who's always engaged in competition. That is one of the biggest signs of high testosterone. And that's because one of the primary effects of testosterone on the brain is to increase the organism's desire to compete, especially to compete for status. Men with high testosterone are very competitive, and the reverse is also true. When you lower a man's testosterone, his desire to compete for status goes down. Next, paranoia. So being paranoid, thinking that people are out to get you, not trusting anybody, unfortunately, that is a sign of high T. It just doesn't rank higher because it's not a big sign of high T. It's not a huge sign of high T, but it is correlated and associated with testosterone, depending on the person's personality and environment growing up. But yes, testosterone does increase symptoms of paranoia on average, mainly because testosterone makes men less trusting of other people. Next, jealous and overprotective behavior believe it or not that is actually a big sign of high t testosterone naturally makes males both humans and animals more protective of the people around them of the people that they love or care about and it also unfortunately makes men more jealous and that's mainly because testosterone evolved to create mate guarding behavior in males so if you're a lion a silverback gorilla a champ a baboon any high-ranking male as your testosterone levels go up you tend to become more jealous and more protective of the females in your harem, as well as the children as well. Now, the reason why it's not ranked higher is simply because many, many, many other things, such as personality, genetics, and childhood environment also play a role in jealous behavior. Next, ADHD, shockingly, is a sign of high testosterone, and that's mainly because testosterone does tend to increase impulsive behavior in males. It also increases novelty-seeking, curiosity, exploratory behavior and all of these can contribute to adhd now the reason it's not ranked higher is simply because testosterone has a strange relationship with adhd and focus in some cases it increases impulsive behavior and leads to adhd symptoms and in others it actually increases focus and allows the male to hyper focus on certain things right so it's very tricky it's a very complex relationship and obviously genetics also play a role Next, submissive behavior. That is actually the opposite. That is a sign of low testosterone. When men's testosterone levels go up, they tend to be more rebellious. They tend to be more defiant. And the reverse is also true. When men's testosterone levels go down, they tend to be less argumentative. They tend to be more agreeable, more submissive, and less confrontational. So submission is a very big sign of low testosterone, which is one of the reasons why throughout history, religious leaders and political figures have tried their best to keep the male's testosterone levels at a minimum range because it is very hard to govern a nation full of high testosterone males they are very rebellious they don't take shit from everybody and that obviously makes them very very hard to govern next ruthlessness that is actually a big sign of high testosterone men with higher levels of testosterone are on average more ruthless than others and that's mainly because testosterone lowers empathy which makes sense because one of the reasons why testosterone evolved is to help men compete with other males so that they can increase their status and gain access to mates and it's very hard to fight compete and in some cases even kill another male if you have high empathy now again that doesn't mean that every single male with high testosterone is going to be a murderer or a ruthless killer no it simply means that testosterone has an amplifying effect on ruthless behavior so if you're already ruthless or you have tendencies towards being ruthless testosterone is going to make that a lot worse next aggression that is a huge sign of high testosterone and that is mainly because testosterone increases your desire to seek status and in most societies most cultures and also throughout male evolution one of the number one ways to attain status was simply by being aggressive mainly through combat fast forward to today and testosterone still has that effect on men so again testosterone increases aggressive behavior but mainly when that aggressive behavior is linked to the acquisition of power and status there's also a genetic component and an environmental component meaning if the person was already naturally inclined to being aggressive then when his testosterone levels go up that's going to amplify that effect and make him even more aggressive than before next confidence and self-esteem that is a massive massive sign of testosterone and that's mainly because testosterone has many many antidepressant effects testosterone lowers fear lowers anxiety and increases risk-taking mainly because of testosterone's effects on neurotransmitters and on the amygdala so that's why almost every study done on humans on other animals on rats rodents monkeys you name it even birds and fish 
testosterone is always, almost always linked with reduced anxiety and improved confidence, which makes sense because testosterone evolved to make men compete for status, compete for resources, and it's very hard to compete or explore if you have high levels of anxiety. Next, being power driven, that is a big sign of high testosterone. Men with high testosterone signaling, so that includes high T levels or high androgen receptor sensitivity, tend to be very, very power driven. And again, that's also linked to testosterone's effects on status seeking behaviors. And last but not least, Republican slash conservative behavior, conservative views, that is actually a sign of high testosterone. Now, again, that doesn't mean that every Republican has high testosterone and every Democrat has low testosterone, right? This is mainly average differences. In fact, we have some studies and data showing that as you increase men's testosterone levels, they tend to shift towards more Republican slash conservative views without even knowing it. But that is only if they had weakly held democratic beliefs, right? So somebody who's a strong Democrat is not going to switch to conservative simply because you increase the testosterone levels. It's only if a person has weakly held democratic beliefs. All right, guys, that's it. Stay tuned for part two, three, four, and five because the list is way too long to fit into one concise video. All right, I'm out of here. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and if you want to support the channel, visit the website and grab a copy of the ebook.